All right, here's the top five welterweight contender, Bilal. Remember the name Muhammad. And I pause at calling him an overachiever, but there were a lot of people who didn't necessarily think that this man was going to vault into the top five and be the factor that he has become in one of the UFC's deepest divisions. Well, when you're this committed, when you are so committed to your craft and you have an iron will that you will be something special, you can accomplish anything. That's Bilal Muhammad. When you talk to him, you get a sense that this guy believes that he's the best in the world. He doesn't believe it. He applies the work ethic to it to make himself and give himself a chance. It has allowed for him to be exactly where he is today. And now he believes he might just be one win away from his first shot at the UFC title. We'll see how it goes for Muhammad tonight. All right, so the path to UFC welterweight gold, of course, goes through the UK, courtesy of Leon Edwards' win over Kamar Usman, but he's got to keep the focus where it belongs. He's got another hungry young challenger in front of him tonight. Yeah, and, and Leon Edwards is one of those guys that can lock in. He's one of those guys that doesn't seem to me now from the outside to be a guy that falls in love with everything that comes with being the champion. He lives in the now, and he will have to do exactly that if he wants to retain his championship tonight. He's got to he's got to be able to use his boxing. Leon Edwards is fast. Oh yeah. Everything he does right. He's crisp. He's sharp, and he uses all of his tools. He is really the definition of mixed martial artists, and that will have to be on display tonight if he wants to keep his championship. You're right, and he may not wow you with muscle mass, but this is quite a frame for the UFC's welterweight division, and Leon Edwards has all eyeballs on him here tonight. All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Bilal. Remember the name, Muhammad. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending. UFC welterweight champion of the world, Leon Rocky Edwards. One of the best in the business, Herb right. Dean, is our referee right. tonight. Yeah. All right, here is the bona fide welterweight contender, Bilal. Remember the name, Muhammad. This man has been a force really ever since he stepped foot in the UFC. But over the last two years, his wrestling and his grappling and his pressure game have gone to an entirely different level. As such, he has vaulted into the top five in the world. And if he can win this fight tonight, don't look now, but Muhammad might be challenging for the title later this year. Man, how about the crisp boxing and kickboxing of Leon Edwards here tonight? It's amazing how much he has improved since his UFC debut a few years ago and really has established himself as one of the best welterweights in the world. Nice. Nicely done. Oh, clean hook there. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> Straight right hand on the counter is good. And everything's landing with so much power. And now they are throwing. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent very bad. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. That guillotine is tough. 
height. Looking for the guillotine lock right now, and it looks like it's in. He's done a great job of securing. And now he's got all oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Great submission defense on this play tonight. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. There it is. Now he's running him out. Clustering up now. And now the damage is about to start. In the half guard. Fighter trying to pass here, Uba gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Print the shirts, ground and pound. Transition. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in the jiu-jitsu guy's guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys who start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Breathe, breathe. All right, you with me? Good. All right, your takedowns were great that one. I want more of that. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. All right, round two. Nice jab by Edwards. Nice job by Leon Edwards going to the kicking game now. Certainly earned the respect with his hands. Now changes the level. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the court. He mixed it up. He went high when the point guard was going low. And now he's got to hurt very badly. He passed the half guard. That's a heck of a strike to land from bottom position. Working from the top here. Pretty good grounded pound here by Muhammad. He bottom needs fighter to better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. He's got to start throwing now. Well, the grounded pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Bilal Muhammad. And another one. Another strike from the top. Lands for him. Posture's up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment. Yep. Muhammad's back in full now. The ground strike's starting to pile up. That was nice. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Muhammad's in half court. This is where he wants to be. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Bilal Muhammad. In the half guard. Now inside the closed guard. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, nice guillotine there. That guillotine is high. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. 
All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense has done a great job just making sure he leaves nothing long, no submission attempts. Even when they get him, he continues to stay calm and patient, and he's defending these take these submissions. Finish him this time, all right? He's done. This guy has nothing left. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Ready. Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Glenn with the inside leg kick. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the inside. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping. Well, no denying that he walked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad. But he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the butt that would end the night. Well, he's landed a few big uppercuts already. I will bet you a thousand dollars he sets it up again. You're not taking my money, J.A. Hey, that uppercut is coming. And when it lands, it's gonna land and land very damn. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Guillotine jump. Edwards is in half guard now. position here. Two minutes to go. All right, inside his opponent's guard. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off, and you gotta cover. You can't do that Ooh, crowd pops as he gets out again. They respect his ability to escape, and he showed how well versed he is in submission defense. Close guard. Muhammad going to work here from the full guard. Nice combination of strikes. Mixing it up pretty well. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over. Johnny, then he just gets up. All right, less than a minute here to go now in round three. Edwards' eye is starting to swell shut. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Muhammad. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Muhammad's in half goal. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. Our round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Ready to fight? Ready. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five minutes. 
All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making up for lost time here. Unable to connect with the right. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Three minutes now to go in this one. Oh, oh, shot there. He's left with his head still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overman versus the Dodger. And you know they still have a problem out of the head. Oh, nice jab by Bilal Muhammad. Looking for the takedown, he gets it. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Oh, huge ground strike there. I can see the cut man's actually getting excited. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Edwards. Posture and punch, posture and punch. Under a minute to go. Edwards is in half guard. There it is, now he's going to mount. That was a slick transition. Muhammad's right back to the full mount. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today oh, loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. Get back up. Don't just hang out there on the guard. Get back. Ready to fight? You ready? Go we ahead. have arrived at this fifth and final round. He's got a good right hand. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Edwards. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Takedown defense holds up. Well, the most significant stat in this fight, and you can see it right there in plain sight, bottom of your screen, the body strikes. His opponent has had absolutely no answer. He hasn't lowered his guard with the elbow whatsoever, and I'm not sure how many strikes to the body he can take before he ends up crippling here. We'll see. Edwards, his nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Nice high guard. Shows great defense there. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. He's got to either go south or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Oh, man, 
man, what a strike from the bottom. Muhammad going to work from guard here. Nice combination of strikes there. Very efficient, very effective. Oh, look at that. High-level grappling as the fighter reverses position and attains a dominant position. Oh, he puts his knee on belly. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. All right, has the guard closed here. Muhammad getting pounded by those hammer fists. We might get a stoppage here. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Look for the pass now. One minute to go in the fight. All right, well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red, is nothing more than something that inspires him. And that will do it! Holy smokes! Yes, yes, I mean, yes, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer to wrap it with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 34 seconds of round number five. We're playing the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bilal.